Since the introduction of the View Composition API, a question that keeps coming up is the use of refs versus reactive. And there have been a few different ref syntax sugars that have been suggested, such as using JavaScript labels. But there's one change that's gained the most support, and it's likely going to become a stable part of Vue in the coming months. And that's Reactivity Transform. And it's a compile time transform that allows us to write code like this, where we define ref with this dollar sign, and then we don't need value anywhere. And then since this is a compile time macro, the view treats this as a compiler hint to treat name as a reactive variable, and it will compile to this code. And this isn't limited to just ref. Every reactivity API that returns refs will have an associated macro. So there will be ref, computed, shallow ref, custom ref, and to ref. So let's take a more in-depth look at how to use this. And since right now this is an experimental feature, we have to manually opt in to be able to use this compiler time macro. In Vite, we can do this by going to our vconfig.js file and adding a reactivity transform onto our view plugin. All right, let's open up app.view and start coding. Let's build the example that I showed earlier step by step. To create name that's equal to a ref, let's say let name equals dollar sign ref, and then I'll pass it my name, Matt. If we just want to print this out, we can say console.log name. And then if we want to make a function that changes it, we can just say function change name, and we'll set name to my full name of Matthew. Then our template code will look the same. So for our example, let's create a button that prints out the name, and then on click calls change name. And then if we take a look at the code, it works exactly as we'd expect. All the values are reactive, but we no longer need that dot value inside of our script. There's a couple interesting use cases for this, and one that I see is the ability to more clearly destructure an object containing refs. So let's take a look at an example. Let's say that we have this use user function that has a name, a website, and a method to change the name. If it returns these three things, how would we be able to use this new reactivity transform to destructure this object and no longer need to pass style value? We can just say const name, website, and change name equals dollar sign of use user. Since name and website are refs, the compiler will know to treat these as refs, and since change name is not, it won't be transformed. And there's some interesting ideas with defined props where we can automatically destructure and maintain reactivity, but there's still some unresolved questions about this, so I'll just throw the link in the description down below and you can check it out for yourself. And then finally, let's take a look at actually accessing our ref value itself. So there will be some instances when we don't want our compiler to add dot value. To manually override this, we can use two dollar signs. For example, let's take a look at rewriting our use user method using reactivity transform. Form. We'll convert our name and our website and remove dot value from change name. If we try to return name, website, and change name, the problem here is that the compiler will automatically change this to name.value and website.value, meaning that when we use it later on, there will be no reactivity. To fix this, we can use two dollar signs to wrap our return object. This serves as an escape hint where reactive variables inside will not get .value appended. I'm really curious to see what you think about this feature. I know that in my last video, a lot of you said that you were using ref exclusively because you like the clearness that adding .value you ads. So let me know if you like this feature or not. And if you have lots of thoughts, I recommend checking out the RFC for this down below. As a framework, Vue is really good at listening to developer feedback, so I definitely recommend getting involved. But I hope this video helped, and if it did, like and subscribe for more Vue content, and I'll see you in the next video.